Welcome back to Darkness Within in Pursuit of Loath Nolder. You find me here at what I can only assume is going to be the final episode of this series. And I'm fucking stoked. This this game has had ups and downs, but we're in a high point right now. I love a new location. I'm I'm really pumped about this whole Samuel William Power thing, and I've, I've been thinking it over my head all week as to how we're going to figure out where this crypt is. The conclusion that I've come to, actually, is that the name must be something I have to combine with clues in my inventory. So we're gonna take a minute to do that, and if I have no trouble after like five minutes, if I have no luck after like five minutes of tooling around with my clues, then maybe I just have to uh, get a spoiler, or get a hint and see if I'm missing a clue. Because if you're missing a clue in this game, you will literally never find it. Someone dug somewhere would make sense. Oh, a hint is available, ooh. Um. Yeah, we'll try a hint from this game. Check the building carefully. Some hidden notes may allow Howard to discover something. Okay. Alright, I'm glad I saw that, because I have not found any hidden notes in here. Besides, of course, the one that's right up here. The Samuel William Power thing. So, there must be something hiding inside this place that I should have found. Also, I'd like to say I have been a complete dunce this playthrough. I made the assumption that the hints in this game would be spoilers, when really they are thoughtfully and well-paced out hints that the game gives to you. So I think I would have had a much smoother playthrough if I wasn't such a dumbass and just let myself get the occasional hint if I needed it. You... Ooh, you bastards. So yes, to reiterate, I think that some of the progression problems that I've had in this game could be mitigated by just playing on a normal difficulty like a normal person. I don't like how much empty space there is here. Aha! That's what we were missing. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a good read. I already like the first sentence. <clears throat> My name is Robert Hart. I'm the watchman of this cemetery. I'm writing these notes in order that they may be used as proof concerning the strange and inexplicable happenings which began recently. Silence has ceased in this old city of the dead, which is far away from the nearest town. I began to hear chilling cries, howling, and wheezing sounds coming from some oddly built crypts. Lately, I can't, help, I can't rid myself of the feeling that I'm being watched during my midnight shifts. I tried to warn visitors coming to the cemetery. When I told them about this... They just whispered to each other and told me rudely not to get involved. To hell with them. I wouldn't even bother to stay here any longer if the pay wasn't good. I know people who wouldn't even stay for the money. Their appearance and behavior disgusts me. Each of them wears a ring inscribed with a snake figure biting its own tail, wrapped around a shiny black stone. I've seen better looking corpses than them. Some people say that they are descended from a witch's lineage, and that they perform ceremonies to bless their ancestor and demonstrate their respect to him by coming to his crypt at specific times. I'm not the kind of person who believes such things, although I don't know what to say after the things I heard in front of the door of that moldy crypt. The registers of this and similar crypts were separated from the others and put into a secret section under the steps of the cemetery building, which they last visited. Moreover, a couple of years ago, I witnessed another unexplained event in one of the caves, which were created in some part of the cemetery by the earthquake. It was midnight when I entered one of those caves, since it seemed easy to go inside, and I walked ahead. When I reached those dank concrete corridors, which were surrounded by reptile-headed human statues, I didn't dare to go any further, and instead ran to the exit as fast as I possibly could. A few days later, some inspectors came and, after some superficial examinations, declared that this place was built over an underground cave system. Hence, no more burials would be allowed. But since then, four more people have been secretly buried in the eastern part of the cemetery. I suppose there are some structures underneath here, and some people, or God knows who or what they really are, insist upon being buried here. Each passing day, this place is making me more and more afraid. I don't feel safe anymore, I'm thinking of quitting now. If I didn't need the money, I wouldn't hesitate to leave. Okay, that's a good brief story. Stop doing that one! That one is not cool! You can't just- you can't just hit me with a BOOM every time you want to instill some tension in the player. So th this is the appropriate length for a reading in a game like this. Do not make me read four pages of letters between two characters I'll never meet. So let's go ahead and start leafing through it for clues. I have a couple things that stood out. 
Uh, first, snake figure biting its own tail. A black ring with a snake figure. I wonder if it's a cultic symbol. Ring with a snake figure. Oh, yeah. We getting the Ouroboros up in here. Uh, wrapped around a shiny black stone. No. Okay, here's something interesting. Uh, the registers of this and similar crypts were separate from the others and put into a secret section. There are hidden registers. I'd better find them and check them out. Okay, so where are they? So this is in reference to the moldy crypt they heard voices outside of. The registers of this and similar crypts separated from the others and put into a secret section under the steps of the cemetery building. Which they last visited. I think by cemetery building, they mean this building. More and more people have been secretly buried in the eastern part of the cemetery. That's gotta be a clue, come on. We just hit the magnifying glass. Secret section, there's something I missed. It seems there is a secret compartment in this building under the steps. Hidden registers. Wow, so I was probably about to go look for that, and maybe the game wouldn't have let me find it until I had hit that, uh, that one little hitbox. That's annoying. One last magnifying glass. Nope, I guess that's everything we needed. Big find. Big, big find. I love finding something like that at the start of an episode. Okay. Under the steps of the cemetery building. Does he mean these stairs? Or does he mean the outside stairs? He probably means the stairs out here. Or does he? I love this music, dude. It's, I haven't heard a soundtrack in a game that is just such a hit to me in a long time. It's perfect, it's so simple. It's not too repetitive. Sammy Wilden Power with Hidden Registers, maybe? Okay, this is my favorite part of the song, everyone be quiet. What's that right there? That looks like a hidden compartment in the stairs. Am I wrong to assume so? Oh, does he mean these stairs? Maybe one of those screens I was looking at earlier is useful now. Yeah, here. This must be the second compartment that was mentioned in the Watchman's notes. Time to Samuel William the Power. It's stuck. I need something to open it with. How about my dagger? That's a lot of books. Samuel William Power. The location of his crypt may be written in the old registers. Yeah, I hope so. Po R? Um, is that who we're looking for? Oh, there it is. Here it is, William Power, West Side. This tomb is in the western part of the cemetery, but its location is not eligible. Part of the register is covered with a substance. We know where it is now. I mean, if it's all on the west side, that already cuts out like 75% of the cemetery, so maybe I can just go to the west side now. The tomb of William Power should be here. Yeah, we, okay. We have gained access. How we find the place could be a little difficult, though. It's gonna be like a maze. Is it socially acceptable to just like hang out in cemeteries? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably disrespectful, but like they make them look so cool. I think I found it. <laughs> a poisonous smoke is dispersing from below that tomb. not be going down there, but that is definitely some Lovecraftian activity going on. I like how he takes one look at it and just clocks it as a poisonous smoke. Yeah, this smoke is toxic. This. It is deformed, but this must be the symbol on the ring the Watchman mentioned. 
So could this be Poer's crypt? A strange but deformed symbol. I see it now. It is an Ouroboros. There's the snake biting its tail. This is probably the place then. Let me just give a quick sweep to see if there's any secrets hiding in the back of the cemetery. No, I think this is it. Shit. Alright, into the crypt. This should be William Power's tomb. These statues. This place too. I think we have just found the inner sanctum of the entire operation. Is this Power? I'm guessing this is Power. Those things are freaky up close. <laughs> Can't open the caskets. For a second I thought there were footprints leading away from them. Okay. Into the depths. I just, I just don't want it to, like, be us barging into a meeting. That'd just be so awkward. Oh, what's this on the floor? Puzzle time. Okay, hold up. This is... Oh, I guess I do have the fifth one still. I thought it was, uh... Me intentionally getting screwed over that I lost it. Okay. Well, you're gonna fit in here, aren't they? Yeah, they do. I wonder if everything I need to solve this is just the images themselves. Let me test it real quick. Is this door locked? Yeah, okay. Locked tomb door. So, it could just be as simple as the pictures telling a story. It looks like there's the, uh, chimble the children of the eye symbol between them. Let's assume that The sun goes in the middle, and then it shines maybe onto that sun, and like there's a dark side of it. I don't know. Whoa, what? Oh my god, no, this is gonna be crazy! You turn them? When the game offers me a hint, I'm going to take it. Let's assume the eye goes in the middle right now. Discerning what order they go into is a big enough puzzle, but actually having to turn them to the right configuration? I have no idea what to do about this. Oh, could it be... Is there a spiral in here too? I think these are all symbols that we saw on the back of that clay figure. the judgment. There is a spiral, yes. Okay. Let's assume that these are the three symbols we need. Left to right, top to bottom. So it's spiral, eye, and then judgment. Red Town. So, could this be the final symbol belonging to Mr. Fields' residence? Most likely. He's saying that the Red Town symbol, this is marking Mr. Fields' residence. I just realized this isn't just a ring, it's another Ouroboros. You can see the thinness of the tail meeting the head of the serpent. Oh, that's so subtle. Oh, a hint is available. Yeah, fuck it, we're taking that hint. Pay attention to the symbols on the five medallions. They may depict an order of some important event. There may be some documents in Clark's residence which explain this process in Clark's residence! Ah! Okay. If it's an important event, it's probably an eclipse. Gang Schneider. Eclipse of the Soul. Okay. Radical thoughts and religious topics. According to the book, the starting and the ending phases of the metamorphosis of the metamorphosis of the soul process are depicted with the eclipse of the sun. Starting and the ending phases of the metamorphosis. I think I may have pieced together enough to figure it out now. We're gonna start with the full image of the sun. Then we're gonna show it, the image of it half eclipsed. Then we're going to show in the middle 
the man who's half covered in light and half covered in dark. That's that's like the human reaction to the event. And then it's either going to be the eye or the man in complete shadow. The order could be interchangeable. It's probably going to... It's probably going to end with the eye because that eye would represent enlightenment, the complete metamorphosis. But I think that's the order. Okay, I think yeah, I think I can solve it right now. And if this doesn't work, then I'll get whatever that hint is. I actually have the exact order I thought it was going to be. So maybe it's I mean, maybe it's blackness and then the eye. Wait. Because this is a rubbing, we're looking at a mirror image of these symbols, aren't we? So as it appears, as it appears on the actual artifact, it's the eye, then the spiral in the judgment. Is that actually it? Oh, well, I just did it and nothing happened. Um, maybe I do put the, the black symbol last. Eye, spiral, judgment. I'm going to take that hint. You need to know the three symbols which appear between the medallions. Do you remember some symbols behind a statue in the cabin's underground galleries? Yes, I do. And I have those symbols right here. Well, if these are the correct symbols, then, like... I must just have the order wrong. I don't know. It seems like, unless there's a clue I'm missing somewhere, it's just not enough information. Like, how am I supposed to know if the shadow on the man comes before the sun eclipsing? It just told me that it begins and ends with an eclipse. The puzzle is based on the process of soul metamorphosis you have read about in various documents. According to the burnt book, it starts and ends with the sun. No, it starts and ends with an eclipse. That's not the same thing. Okay, if it... that's... That's not what the game said, though. The game says it starts and ends with an eclipse. A full eclipse is not embodied by a sun. It's embodied by a dude in complete darkness. I'm sorry, what does he say this one looks like? What, what, what does he say to describe this item? Symbol looks like a human body. Yes, it's a shaded out human body, because it's a human body in complete darkness. That's what it is. I'm sorry, but this is not what the game told me it was. The game said it begins and ends with an eclipse. An eclipse is not half the sun. A full, the full eclipse, which is what it was referring to, would have been would have been this guy in complete shadow. Because that's the guy looking up at the full eclipse. There is no sun. Why does it end with half a sun? I was right about the eye being in the middle, at least, but... I don't know, I guess that this one, this symbol, is actually supposed to be one guy splitting into two, like it's his soul metamorphosizing. And furthermore, about these three symbols, it said, view them as a triangle. So, that means that the scales go in the middle. But because that this is a rubbing, shouldn't the eye still be on the right here? Come on. Are you serious? They want me to do the spiral and then the eye? That should not have worked. I heard a click. I should check. No. No. Okay. Look. Look at this piece of paper. See, it says it's spiral and then the eye and then that because left to right, top to bottom. Incorrect. This, this is supposed to be like a rubbing. This is a mirrored image of what was actually on the statue. Unless they actually intended for it to be interpreted by taking a rubbing of it, which I guess is possible, the inversion should be the solution. Come on. I don't, I don't even want to get into the whole eclipse thing again. Whatever. Time for some scary shit, I'm sure. Ah, uh, the Versahi is here too. Should we be here? I think I hear a strange distant call. But anyway, Mr. Fluffers, where were you when nothing was happening for the last 20 minutes? Oh, what is this place? Oh no, I do I don't like this. A 
strange smoke is flowing in from the cracks in the wall. I think the other side of the wall is hollow. Dude. This is gonna sound weird, but I had a very weird nightmare as a kid that took place in like a cr an underground crypt with like ch checkered floors and shit, and it looked just like this. I don't even remember what like happened in the nightmare. There was like a spear hanging on the wall and it fell on me and I got scared. It's locked. I hear some distant voices. Is that howling? Okay, now I hear it. He's he's pushing his face on my hand, which is trying to control the mouse. Stop it. So this door. A door? Like ripped off its hinges? Abdal Aziz. It looks like all the cult members have, like, prepared their own graves for some kind of judgment day. I'm definitely not seeing anyone named Samuel William Power buried in this crypt labeled Samuel William Power. This one's blank. Oh, that's kind of unsettling. The lock is broken. I can't open it. I hear some distant voices. Is that howling? What am I going to do with that rope? The lock is broken. I can't open it. Wouldn't that just feed into the hallway from over here? Big door at the end of the hall. You know, I probably would have just gotten the whole police department to accompany me down here at this point. I just heard the same sound. Is it coming from beyond that door? This door is locked. This door is locked. All right. Oh, this door is unlocked. That's surprising to me. All right, what's through here? I've seen that symbol before. Just like my weird childhood nightmare. What's up with these bowls? Classic Silent Hill 2 reference. Why do I have the option to like move forward towards the hole? I don't like that. care to repeat that? The same statues as the one in the underground galleries of Mr. Bromble's garden, and the ones that were described by Mr. Field in his strange notes. A deep, dark well. I hear someone calling my name from the darkness. Oh, this is just like the well that's in Clark Field's house, isn't it? That's the the connecting thread here. Am I going to use my... Are we doing the same thing as last time? We're going to tie the rope around something? What am I going to tie the rope around? The gate. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to go down there. Do you want to go down there, buddy? Do you want to go down there, Mr. F? <laughs> Mr. F did it. Mr. F did it. This place again? We came here in our dream the one time. This place. I've seen this place in one of my nightmares. Wasn't that well I fell down in Clark Field's house? Is this real? Am I in a nightmare again? Or haven't I ever woken up from one? Oh god, am I mad. That 
voice. It is still calling me. Can I... Can I go this way? Can't open it, it's stuck. Has anything in here changed from when we visited in our nightmare? I get the... F I f don't think that nightmare was really a nightmare. I think that one actually happened. Yes, I am mad. But what else could it be? If this is not a nightmare, then I am definitely mad. It was the crypt all the way at the end, right? But, if I am mad, it is mercy. May the god pity the man who in the callousness can remain sane to the end. That's a famous H.P. Lovecraft quote. Most H.P. Lovecraft games start with that quote, honestly. This is the one, isn't it? This wasn't here in my nightmare. Uh, it's got the same symbol, though. From the above the crypt. My family Your family symbol? Get... Bad timing. Laraid. Did it just change to say that in front of us? This name. No. This can't be. This is not happening. Me. I can't be their kin. I reject this. Was I right? Are we actually like an insomniac cult member? The voice. It is calling me. From beyond here. Footsteps. Uh. <gasps> Just as was foretold. You. Who are you? What do you want from me? Bruh. I am thine. Thou art mine. You know very well. What I want is thee. No. No, no. This is not real. Oh, I must be dreaming again. Erm, Kaliuga. Don't you be speaking Latin at me. Oh, you stay down, this is the end of the game. I think. Oh god. Please, let me wake up again. What is he doing? Just interpretive dance? Am I getting soul metamorphosized? When I told them what I did in that ancient crypt, they refused to believe me. Bro, what did you do? They said that there was no such crypt, nor could there have been anyone buried there by the name of Lorraine. But I have seen all these things. So doesn't that make me mad? Now, I cannot see through the darkness that is within me. <laughs> it fills me more and more, day after day. And now I feel as though I am drowning in a dark, endless sea. Hence, I cannot tell exactly what has happened. The only thing I fear is that I will lose myself. The person that I am today. But over time, perhaps I will just disappear into the fathomless dark depths of madness. A thought that seems almost merciful to me now. Or maybe I'll continue to struggle and call for help until I am no more. I have made up my mind. I will stay here until the coming eclipse is over. I must do this at all costs. 
Even if I have imagined it all. Oh God, please grant me merciful madness if I have not. Escaped. Wait. So it's not over? This was a cutscene? Are we on the prowl? Like, in the flesh? The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. Oh, why would you end it there? What the fuck? All right, okay, I have a lot of thoughts. I don't want to be too harsh to the game right now on that ending because it, it's very possible that I got an incomplete ending and that's why there's a lot of unanswered questions. I mean, we do know that the game had a secrets function, so maybe the more secrets you find, the different endings you get, but that ending definitely wants me to have more. I mean, we never even got closure on if Arthur actually was one of them or not. Oh, that's that's weird. You can fast forward the credits. Okay, well, I, I will speak for a minute about this game. Um, I always love a game that can pull up the the HP Lovecraft charm. You know that I'm I'm a, I'm a fucking Lovecraft head. Uh, it had shortcomings though. I really really like some of their innovation. I loved probably my favorite parts of the game was uh, around episode three. The car ride that ended with running into the poet on the road, Edwin Pickman. And I also loved uh, <laughs> leaving the cabin and Gerald just like jump scaring you. That was a, that's probably my single best scare from this game. I've, because I, I said it in, the, in this series, I find it to be one of the most absurdly underused but effective jump scares of just putting someone somewhere that you wouldn't expect, or just like trespassing and getting caught by somebody. Something really simple like that. I thought that was a really, really eerie moment. Um, so yeah, gotta love HP Lovecraft stuff. Uh, the document scanning, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world when this game started, but wow, did it get old fast. I think if you wanted to remaster this game or like perfect that strategy of uh, scanning documents, you're probably gonna have to chain it so that like multiple hitboxes can find the same clue. Because the way that it was, you guys saw in that one episode with the tombs, uh, oh my gosh, it was so annoying. You would, t there was like eight mentions of tombs in one passage and you could underline seven of them and get nothing. But if you find the one passage about tombs that is the one that the game intended, then you get the clue. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like super, super linear progression. I think that it's okay to let players miss a little bit of the game if they're like smart enough to like jump ahead. Oh man. I don't know. I just, I really loved the music and the atmosphere and I liked a lot of the story. It's, it's the functionality of this game that gets to be pretty frustrating. Am I glad I played it? Absolutely. I will I will never turn my nose up at something that advertises itself as Lovecraftian horror. I just... I can have a good time with just about anything Lovecraft. Um, is that the end of the credits? Okay, cool. So... Oh, hold up. post credit scene? What the hell's this? Is this the moon eclipsing the sun? I think that's what that was supposed to be. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh, it's giving me a, it's giving me a Payne's Creek killings here. Okay. Let's see how I did. Documents found 33 out of 37. Man, what could I have missed? Maybe towards the end I sped through a couple of things. Clues found 30 out of 31? Okay, well, I mean... Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I, I cheated. I had to get some cheats for this game. And, uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed about that. I'm a little... I'm sorry that I had to do that, but... 
you know how it is with a game like this. There will be moments where you just spend the rest of your life rubbing your face against the wall if you don't get a little bit of direction. And in my defense, some of those puzzles were not very well designed. These guys who made this game, I think it said the Onri Brothers only, something like that. You guys are great storytellers. You have a great grip on atmosphere and music. I, th From what I've heard, I think this was your first game. And you guys do have some mechanical kinks you need to work out. But that is that is the constructive criticism I have for you. You guys are excellent storytellers. Um, moving on then. Hidden clues found? There were hidden clues? I mean, I guess there were. And it says I only got 20 out of 40. 50% accuracy for finding hidden clues. That's pretty cool. I like that. Story secrets? 3 out of 5. Very interested what the other two were. And Easter eggs, one out of five. I can't even imagine what the one Easter egg I found was. <laughs> oh, final score is, what is this, seven out of ten? Seven out of ten stars, not the greatest. And then there's another set of stars underneath it. Is that one six out of ten? Why is there two scores? Okay, here's what I'm thinking we're going to do. I am going to go to the gym, and then I'm going to go to the store, and buy a slew of spicy peppers <laughs> do my punishment for all the spoilers I got in this game but uh, as we as I punish myself for the copious spoilers that I went through we're going to use a walkthrough and we're going to go through my save games to try to find the remaining easter eggs and story secrets and maybe even some of the prominent clues and hidden clues I think that'll be a, a good time and then I will die of gastrointestinal distress so I'll see you guys there Surprise, surprise, my mic actually cut out for the first two peppers of the spoiler punishment. To make matters worse, this actually happened as I was going through a bunch of clues and easter eggs that were hidden in the game. But that's okay, because I can commentate over it and nothing will be lost in the process. So first, we have a clue here, uh, a very major clue that more or less solves the mystery. And it's one that you can very, very easily miss, because it's time sensitive. You have to come back to this room where you find Clark Field's jacket underneath Ivar Bergen's cabin, and then combine in your inventory the clues, or the, the pages, pages four out of four from uh, Clark Field, with the key to his house. And this, the reason this is time sensitive is because once you use that key, it's gone from your inventory for good. But if you combine these two in your thinking slots, you will actually get the clue that Mr. Field was killed by Ivar and his followers and kept prisoner here. And there you have it. Ivar Bergen killed Clark Field. So, that is, um... I'll go ahead and just let this footage of myself enduring my spoiler punishments go. Uh, these are pickled jalapenos that we're doing this time, seeds intact and everything, uh, and I I want to express some thoughts about this clue. I like the idea that you don't necessarily show the player outright the solution to the mystery. Like, you can miss it, you can miss that clue, but I think it's a little unbecoming that it's a time-sensitive clue you have to find. I think that this would be really good if you could just keep that key in your inventory after the excitement of opening up the, the locked doors. Because I, I mean, I did not at all remember that there was a, a key or like that you could even move objects into the thinking inventory. And it makes me wonder how many other hidden clues I missed in this process. Because as I'm sure you'll see before the end of this video, there are a lot of the hidden clues and whatnot that I just couldn't find out what they were. There's like not a guide for them on the internet. Strange. And here comes Mr. F to make sure that the peppers aren't killing me. What a good lad. I hurt myself today. The next little clue that I want to show you actually happens on the first night, I believe. This is the first nightmare sequence. And what happens here is that if you go to the bathroom while there's knocking at the door, you can find something in the medicine cabinet that I would think is literally not important at all if it weren't for the achievement that pops up. A dead bug in the achievement Shattered Psyche. Find a hint in the first nightmare regarding your dual personality. So as you can see here in the footage, I'm actually reacting to that quite heavily because it more or less confirms some of my suspicions that I don't think Arthur actually was in on it with the cult. And maybe I'm wrong about that. I think that was all an elaborate red herring to get me to think that there was something crazy going on elsewhere. To distract us from the fact that Howard Lorraine was slowly undergoing soul metamorphosis through the Versailles in Clark Field's house, and that was turning him into a cult member without his conscious state knowing. Which is a pretty neat twist. It's very, very Lovecraftian, and I think that similar things have happened in some Lovecraftian stories. And then finally, a cute little Easter egg here is, uh, 
if you enter the birth and the birth date and death date of HP Lovecraft into this little digital organizer, you actually just get this goofy little photo of him. What a fucking weird guy. I love him so much. And that about concludes everything that I need to summarize from when my mic was cut. So now I go back to live in person, Jamie, for the final pepper. Whew. And as it happens, I don't think I could find any of the other clues or hidden secrets I was hoping to find. In fact, it looks like there are some glitches in this game when it comes to how it counts the clues and hidden easter eggs on the final screen. And it, there's people saying that you can get like 42 out of 40 clues and weird things like that, so... I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. The game is a little bit sloppy at times, but we still got another pepper, so hopefully we have sound for this one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My closing remarks. Ah. That's a that's a pepper for each puzzle that I got a spoiler for because there were some good puzzles in this game that I was just too dense to figure out on my own. At the same time, there were some puzzles in here that I would throw hands with the developers if I met them. Playfully. I I respect you guys. I really like this game. I, I really like this story. I think you guys have made an awesome love letter to Lovecraft here. I love the music. I love the setting. I love the premise. I love how you can miss things, okay? But I think you left out a little too much. I, I know that there's a darkness within too. And I don't know anything about it. If it's a continuation of this story, then that's cool. But then the darkness within two should have been darkness within one. Because because this game ends with a lot of unanswered questions. We never got to go to the cave. We never got to go to Northwood Forest. We didn't find out what those weird little beanie baby things were in the attic of the freaking Ivar Bergen's cabin. You can even beat this game without finding out that Ivar Bergen was the killer. Although I guess it was kind of inferred. Ugh. I'm glad I played it. I'm glad that I played this game. Mechanically, it was very frustrating, but I really enjoyed the vibes. And you will never find me turning my nose up at anything that has the titan of the name HP Lovecraft attached to it. I'm gonna go drink some water now. Thank you for watching this one. <laughs> oh. Darkness Within 2? Maybe someday. Can't say it's on my immediate list. I'm working on a... I'm working on a longer video, actually, that I'll hopefully have done in, like, a week or two. It's, it's the, my first ever, like, long-form video that I'm spending a lot of time on, so, you know, fine wine takes time. That's how it is. Fuck, I'm just gonna start drinking this now, okay? I've suffered enough. Uh, okay, that's better. So, yeah, cool game. I liked it. Only Brothers, Only Brothers, I've already forget your name, but if you guys are out there, I hope you keep on making games just like this one, except better. That's all I've got. And don't forget to vote for Holt.